Hey guys, how you doing? This is Joss from Kingdom T-shirt, Kingdom DTG or IV DTG. Um, just here we got a printer that we're going to clean uh, the lines. Uh, so we're going to take out all the the inks out. Uh, also clean the tank. So basically, we're going to use our cleaning solution. And also we're going to use purify uh, water to do that. And then I got these to pick up the, the inks over there. I can save the inks that I got in the dumpers already. But to be honest, I don't want to mix uh, one brand with another brand or something like that. So because this is going to be for a customer, um, I'm going to sell you this unit as a use even it got maybe like four prints and that's it but because we already use it so we go to clean it for him and then give it to him um you know with the uh, lines clean and everything and uh, the ink tanks you know we go to do our best to do that and then from that point uh he's going to take care of uh you know maintenance and everything so Let's start that. We got our syringe. And uh, we're going to start with the blue ink over there. So, you know what? Let me get another one on this. So for me, this is going to be one of those videos that is super boring, to be honest. Um, because you only watch me doing this. So I hope it is not so long, but I got to do my best, you know, to definitely I will need to edit this video because if not, it's going to be super long and uh, I don't want that. So let's start with this one. <clears throat> so it was closed over here. So I just opened it and uh, the white ink is already, it's already, uh, I already took it off. So it got a little bit of the, the other inks. So we're going to do uh, to start here and see if it's faster. If not, we're going to take out uh, the ink from the tank. I think it's faster for me. But just in case, I just want to start moving that ink from here. So, man, I wish I could save this ink, but I don't have any place to put it, so. And like I said, this is another brand. It's different from the. It's different from the one I'm using right now. So that's why I don't put in my my current DTG. Oh, let's try not to splash too much. And uh, if you feel that it's resistant for you, let me, I'm going to show you what you're going to do. So that way it's faster. So I, I feel a little bit resistant from the ink to coming out. And uh, let me show you, let me show you what you're going to do. It's super easy. So basically uh, we're going to come to the tank. We're going to remove the plastic uh, lid that way the the tank can breathe and i just going to do four colors because like i said white is already off and i'm just going to leave it that, that way let me make sure this don't fall down all right now i can continue with this stuff. I can already hear the tank that is 
getting empty. So we're going to do this for all the color inks. And then um, we're going to put some cleaning solution with uh, purified water, or you can use distilled water, water also. In the tank, I'm going to start soaking um, all that so the, the inks can become clean, you know? So almost finished with this dumper. I think at this point, also it could be a good idea to replace the damper. Even this one works, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this one, so. All right, so I just moved the camera a little bit more so you can see better. So I'm going to show you, now that it's almost empty, the damper. Um, what you want to do is open your water and we're going to fill that um, in the ink tank. We're going to fill that with uh, a little bit of water <clears throat> and then a cleaning solution or vice versa. Then it doesn't matter which way you want to do it. So I got a cleaning solution here. You can see for DTG, um, this one is a thousand ml, so it's like 32 ounces or more, I believe. And uh, if you are getting the inks from our website, um, we got packages like small, medium, and I think large already, or if something like that, you want to get um, also cleaning solution with your with that package. So I'm just going to put just a little bit right there. Then just water, add the water to that. And you see it? Do you see it on the cam? It's, it's getting more light and that is because the cleaning solution is doing the work. So it's getting that line clean with the water. So I'm just going to put a little bit more until I start seeing here that through the um, damper that is getting like clear. Um, another thing is that if you got gloves, uh, it's a good idea to use it so you don't get stained all over your uh, fingers. Sometimes I use gloves, but this time I forgot. So uh, I'm already here, so. So let me see. So it's coming really good. Um, I don't see too much uh, blue. So I'm going to put more cleaning solution over there. And just a little bit more water. So that way, that way we clean those lines really nice. And also the tank, you know, because you don't want to replace the tank if you, if you can clean it. And uh, you do this, this is called a flush. So it, it's basically the same as you do when you're cleaning your print head, you're flushing, you put in something to make it clean. So every time, every time you got, um, for example, you want to change brands or change the ink or something happens. So you want to do that. 
okay so you can see in the damper um, it's like a light blue I'm not sure if you're getting that in the cam so let me try it for you it was dark so now it's clean it's getting clear so just continue doing this or all the lines and you're going to be good after that you can put um, any brand you want of inks and then I go to recommend because you're putting water um, just in case there's still water inside the lines just run a, a, a couple of pretty head cleaning so you can get that all out and that way you pump uh, new inks from the tank to your lines and then you're going to be good all right so i'm going to finish these guys i'm going to show you the the final results and uh yeah that's it i mean i don't want to like i said i don't want to continue uh making this video longer so I got to clean all that and I got to show you the final results, okay? Alright guys, so I just finished with this channel. I just finished with the cyan, as you can see. It's completely empty. Uh, for the most of the part, it's clean. You can see a little bit of blue over there, but I mean, it's already clean. So you're ready to put new inks on it. Uh, I need to clean the white ones just a little bit. Uh, red one, <laughs> black is going to be crazy. But you know, it's something that you do when you want to change. Okay, and this is all the, this is everything that I just took out. You know, inks, solution plus water. So I'm just going to dump this, come back. Uh, you can see, uh, just a, it's a, just a little bit left, but maybe i put some water clean water now and just soak everything and it's going to be good to go all right guys so i just finished um you know taking out all the the inks and you can see i it's like a, i murder <laughs> the the dtg here but i mean i just took it out um mo most of the part um you know the lines are clean now and I got inks in the dumpster just a little bit, as you can see. So this one, what you can do is put some cleaning solution in the tank and run a print head cleaning. So that can be pushed out the remaining over here. Nice, as you can see here, the tank, as you can see, you can say it's a 90% clean but basically that that's it you going color by color just put in a cleaning solution uh, with purified water or distilled water uh, that way the inks from the lines uh, don't get clogged over there so because basically you put right now you put a uh, inks I mean you put a cleaning solution and water and uh, that's going to destroy, you know, anything that is there. Or if something was building over there, it, it got destroyed uh, with the cleaning solution. Take it easy, guys. And uh, I see you in the next video.